A year after new leadership in the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, no mutual aid agreement exists between the Sheriff's Office and several cities. Investigative reporter Brianna Smith is breaking down exactly what this means for you. Brianna? Well, Diana, mutual aid agreement gives officers the opportunity to exercise police authority outside of their jurisdictional boundary, something that Greenville police have gone without since January. These two badges share a building and a parking lot. Crime knows no boundaries, and uh, we share offenders. What they don't share is a mutual aid agreement. Under Sheriff Steve Loftus, some city officers were given special credentials to have jurisdiction in the county to make arrests without assistance. That policy was rescinded in January when Sheriff Will Lewis took office, and a new one hasn't been decided on. Our goal and our focus is the public safety. So we're going to stay focused on that. Both Sheriff Lewis and Greenville Police Chief Ken Miller have brought options to the table. Chief Miller's policy gives officers the right to act in the county if a deputy can't be with them. There are times when an incident might kick off in the city and we're looking for assistance from a road deputy in the county and they can't really provide that assistance in a timely way. Earlier this year, Greenville police received a call for a car break-in in the corner of Augusta and Church. The thief took a purse and an iPhone. The police were immediately able to ping. It showed up here on White Horse Road, which is just outside of city limits. They asked for a county deputy to respond, but there wasn't one available. City police couldn't go because they didn't have a mutual aid Agreement. We had to tell the victim that we weren't able to help her. Uh, she didn't understand that, made a complaint to our city council member. Sheriff Lewis's office feels that's not appropriate and that a deputy should always be with them outside of city limits. That opposition has caused a halt in mutual aid agreements with all cities except Malden and Simpsonville. We've made every effort to include um, the sheriff's office in that. So obviously, uh, Diana, struggle going on there. Now, the document that Chief Miller presented to Sheriff Lewis has the backing of the five other police chiefs in Greenville County. That example you gave really shows how investigations can go wrong if yeah. they don't have this. So if there's this kind of standstill right now, where are the negotiations? And that's the problem. They haven't been working on this since May. Both of them, I spoke to both of them today, and they both tell me we want this. They just haven't worked on it. Yeah, well, maybe after this story, they might uh, do that. All right, thank you, Brianna. Well, big news out of